Hello friends, welcome back to tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can construct a Turing machine. First of all, see these basic Turing machines. Now see what this Turing machine is doing. When this Turing machine reads 0 or 1, it simply moves its head to the right without changing the tape symbol and it remains in same state. But when it reads a blank symbol, it jumps to some other state. So this type of Turing machine finds first blank symbol to the right of the current head position. Similarly, this Turing machine finds the first blank symbol to the left of current head position. And uh, this, see what this Turing machine is doing. This Turing machine finds first non-blank symbol to the right of current head position. And uh, now see this Turing machine. This Turing machine finds first non-blank symbol to the left of current head position. Now let us see the working of Turing machine which accepts the strings of form WWR where WR is the reverse string of string W. Right. Now in the strings of this form WWR first symbol of a string is same as the last symbol of the string and second symbol of the string is same as second last symbol of the string and third symbol of the string is same as the third symbol from last of the string and so on right now see how this Turing machine will accept uh, this string A, B, B, A. This string is of the form W, W, R. Now see how this string will be accepted by the Turing machine. First, Turing machine will read the first symbol of a string and erase it. It means Erasing means that it will replace this symbol by blank symbol, right? And then it will compare the first symbol it has read with the last symbol of the string. If they are same, then it will erase this last symbol. Right. If they are not same, the Turing machine will crash. Now, to reach the last symbol of the string, first Turing machine will find first blank symbol to the right of current hat position and then move its head one position to the left. Right after erasing the last symbol, Turing machine checks if input symbol is still remains in a string or not. For this, Turing machine first finds the first blank symbol to the left of current head position right that is this one and then move its head one position right right if the symbol currently under read right head is blank then it means no input symbol remains in a string that you then Turing machine will jump to final state and a string will be accepted. But if 
the symbol currently under read write hat is not blank then it means input symbols remain in string and the symbol which is currently under the hat is the first input symbol of remaining string then turing uh, machine will read this first symbol of remaining string and erase it right and then turing machine will compare first symbol of remaining string which it has read with the last symbol of remaining string if they are seen turing machine will erase this last symbol of remaining string if they are not seen the turing machine will crash after erasing the last symbol of uh, remaining string turing machine will check if input symbols remain in string or not if no input symbols are left in string the turing machine will jump to final state and a string will be accepted but if the input symbols remain in a string the turing machine will repeat the same procedure this procedure will be repeated until no input symbols are left in the string now let us construct a turing machine to accept the strings of form wwr where wr is the reverse string of a string w and set of input symbols of turing machine contains only two symbols that is 0 and 1 right it means uh, the string will be made up of only two symbols 0 and 1 now this is the turing machine this is the required turing machine which will accept the strings of form wwr right and uh, where the set of input symbols contain only two symbols 0 and 1 now see q0 is the initial state of turing machine initially turing machine remains in its initial state q0 right turing machine reads the first symbol of a string right if it is if it is 0 it jumps to state q1 if it is 1 it jumps to state q4 after this right it finds first blank symbol to the right of current head position and then move its head one position left right now the last input symbol of a string is currently under head it should be seen as the symbol which turing machine has read right turing machine will erase this symbol right and finds the first blank symbol to the left of current hat position and then move its hat one position to the right and jumps to state q n right If the symbol currently under hat is blank symbol, then Turing machine will jump to final state QF. 
because now no input symbol remains in the string and a string will be accepted. If it is non-blank then it could be either 0 or 1. Right? If it is 0 the Turing machine will jump to state Q1. If it is 1 Turing machine will jump to state Q4 and same procedure will be repeated.